Hi, I'm Elaine Koretsky from Toronto, Canada. And I'm her husband, Barry, from Toronto as well. And we've enjoyed this visit. It's been very enlightening. It's great to see how our money is being used by PLAN in the most effective and useful way. Uh, it's quite inspiring, actually. To me, the most memorable part of the visit in GEMA was the visit this morning to see the microfinance uh, project and to see the nursery school, the early education project. Um, we had seen an early education project yesterday, but it was in the initial stages, and to see one that's fully implemented was awesome. The kids were totally involved in, in educational projects, and you can just see how that's going to have an incredible impact on their lives as they grow older. Um, I was very impressed with the microfinance project. We'd also seen one in Rwanda, and the impact of that kind of microfinance project on families is, is, is long term. It's just not immediate and for today. It impacts the family dynamics between the husband and the wife. It impacts the children and um, how the children are brought up and then and therefore future generations. And I think it is one of the most, the best projects that Plan undertakes. I thought yesterday's uh, <laughs> visit to the school was very enlightening. And we've been to schools in Rwanda. This was a brand new school, essentially, that we had helped to fund. Um, and it was a learning environment. The old school that we saw uh, was not a learning environment. They explained to us how kids, and it's still happening right across Ethiopia, would literally come to school, have an earthen floor, and would bring cow dung to spread on the floor, let it dry, and sit on the floor without any kind of other learning aid. The classroom yesterday that was funded through PLAN, uh, with our assistants and the other people in the group, just made it an environment where kids could learn. And with the early education that's starting in that school, it, w uh, it will just build upon it. And we met with the family. We met with the um, families of the uh, students, the parent teacher association, and it was very clear that there was a bond that they had connected um, with between the school and the parents, the community, and parents were coming to classes after their children had finished and they and we spoke to them about how important it is for parents to be involved in school and in terms of uh, working with their, uh, their children after uh, this class is finished and they told us about their children who at nine o'clock under kerosene lamps would spend a couple hours doing their homework. I was inspired. This was a first-rate school in a very underprivileged village and people were committed, the families were committed and it's because PLAN has worked very hard within the community to build those partnerships and that's what I'm left with, a sense of partnership from what Elaine said and what we're seeing. Uh, you had asked about the comparison between families in Toronto and families here. Um, a family is a family. No matter where they are, no matter where they live, there is a unit, and uh, parents are generally out to see that their parent, their children have a better life than they've had. And uh, there's huge changes that are undergoing, are happening in this country um, at many levels, and with the input of many people, uh, we are quite inspired to see what the government is doing, and that uh, working with NGOs such as Plan and the Plan is playing such an instrumental role. There is a gap. I mean, there's a gap in lifestyles, but one that it will close quickly with all this, this input and uh, the work of the people. There's a, there's a financial <laughs> gap that is the greatest understatement in the world, but the reality is they had the same wishes and same hopes for our children. When asked, the kids all said they want to be professionals, doctors, they wanted to be teachers, they wanted to be engineers, and clearly the parents were there. And one of the sweetest moments I saw in the early education program that PLAN has sponsored is a father uh, with his, couldn't be more than four-year-old, hand-in-hand -hand going into the classroom. Uh, that's commitment, that's family, and it's, it just struck me as absolutely no different than watching, uh, as I did with my, with my kids who were in preschool, and it doesn't matter that they were living in, you know, abject poverty. He was taking his little girl 
and uh, it was the sweetest thing you could see. Thank you.